Hello everybody and welcome back to Edgewater. So in the previous episode we did manage to get half the field harvested. It's actually one big field sort of split into two with the water course. Uh, so all of this is done and we have baled the flax as well. So we have flax straw which is going to be used in a spinnery. Now we can actually build the spinnery if we want to or we could purchase the one which is already integrated into the map. But yeah, it's a bit of a drive um, but then again I suppose if we if we do buy the one which is already on the map we won't be taking up more space. I think what we'll probably do you just have a quick look around the yard and see if there is an obvious place to put it. To be honest, actually, there is quite a bit of space around the yard. And the spinnery isn't a large building, so... Yeah, like back here. It would make sense, actually, to um, to build the spinnery, at least here, because we're going to be having so many bales of flax produced over the course of the series. So maybe, maybe if we do build one here, that would be great. We also do need a telehandler. So we'll be getting onto that in just a second, but yeah, spinnery. There we go. There is water again. Um, we don't want to be. We, obviously, we don't want to be placing this into the water. That would be silly. So, <laughs> about there should be fine. And that's looking, uh, I think, quite natural. Is it not? Yes, I think so. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll get a telehandler. We are going to be, as I said, we're going to be using different mods, and we're going to be doing votes on different machines that we're going to get. But just for today, we're going to get something which is already in the base game, already installed. Um, you know me, I'm a massive fan of JCB, but I suppose it's going to come down to whatever is most cost effective, although really, it probably is the JCB. So that's 24 miles per hour, 145 horsepower. That's 24 miles per hour and 136 horsepower. So there's not really much in it, and there is, what, £7,000 difference between the Class Scorpion and the JCB. So we'll probably go for the uh, Class Scorpion then. Actually, I don't really use the Class very often. Um, yeah, my go-to would always be the JCB, but let's do something a bit different. Should we go for some different wheels? I guess. They look good. Yeah, they look very good. And then we need to have a bell Spike. Which is quite essential. Could get an auto stacker, but the thing is we haven't really produced many bales. And we do also need to have a flatbed trailer. So immediately, despite starting with half a million pounds, or well, I suppose we should have it set in Canadian dollars, but um, yeah, despite starting with half a million, we still have spent quite a bit already. So I don't regret doing that. Definitely don't regret it. So yeah, just trying to find my category for bale trailers. Uh, I think probably, um, yeah, just this is going to be sufficient. There we go. And we should be able to tow that with the Class Scorpion, no problem at all. There is my bell spike. And we're attached. Let's first of all then go and clear the field and I won't get lost this time. I actually know the way back to the farm. I know it's scary but I, I do. I know the way. If we go left out of here and then take a turning right at some point, yes that will do, uh, we'll eventually come across the farm. Here we are. We have made it. Nice. Fantastic. <laughs> So, yes, um, we will get into that field. We're going to have to start the other harvest of the other field. It's another flax field, but, yeah, I think getting the worker underway would be very useful. Maybe I should even do the headland first before we start to load, because then we could put it onto a worker. Although, how do we actually get across there? How do we cross? <laughs> do we have to go up the road and then, and then go through? I actually don't know. I think a good way of checking this out would be to fly up into the air... You see, it's completely separated by this watercourse. It's totally divided. Um, it's also, amazingly, that is all one field. That is all connected. Or maybe we could just drive through here. No, that's probably not going to work. <laughs> no, that wouldn't be a good idea. Um, yeah, so I guess we'll take the combine up the road. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll take the combine up the road and we'll do one lap. Um, because I think one lap of that field is going to take us forever. And then we'll just put on a worker and see what the worker can actually do. I don't know how well it will do it, but 
anything is going to be better than nothing. Well, we're actually nowhere near the end, but um, yes, <laughs> that roller coaster ride is still the first headland. Blimey. I think it's probably going to be worth actually getting a swather. We wouldn't get the seed, most likely, but we'd definitely get the straw. Um, that, that, would <laughs> that would make it a lot faster. Because, yeah, this is this is quite crazy, and we can't really use a wiki. In fact, what I'd probably do is install Courseplay, because uh, Courseplay, I would hope, we'll be able to figure out the fields and you know, a worker will be able to do it properly, but certainly, yeah, the, the base game worker system, the vanilla worker system, is just not going to be up to this at all. It might be able to do the very straight open area where we started, um, but yeah, nothing else. It's just going to be so confused. Wow. So yeah, um, let's get back to the start and then we'll um, unload. And then we'll put it on a worker. We'll see how long the worker lasts before they get the sack. And then we'll move the straw, well, we'll move the straw at the same time before we sack them. 90% full. Right, so we are using these uh, conveyor belts. This video has been recorded straight after the first episode, so if anybody has given me any suggestions about how to do this better, I won't have seen them yet, um, but I will do. Let me just turn off that flight mode, it's stopping me from getting into the conveyor belt. Not that I want to... Whoa, now I'm walking with that... I'm walking and I'm not doing anything. Oh no! Yes, that seems to have fixed it. Yeah, I don't want to get into it, but that's just how you do it. Right, so. Um, I think if we just, uh, yeah, do that. Um, maybe not quite like that, but there we go. <laughs> we're, we're, we're sort of, um, yes, we're sort of perched on it now. Uh, that could have gone better. Yeah, that could have gone a lot better. Okay, well, um, <laughs> let's go and unload. And I don't think we can cross here either, can we? No. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, very tempted to get a swather instead of a combine harvester. I think it'd be better. But it should be able to do this first piece at least. We'll have to just see how it does. Um, but anyway, let's drop off this trailer here. Well, should we go a bit further into the field? Uh, yeah, we'll go over here. I think I did establish we had about, what was it, 13 bales yesterday? Yeah, 13 bells so far. Um, so, yeah, not many are popping out the back, but we're still producing them. Ah, 9,000 litres per bale. And the difference is this isn't just going to be sold as straw. This is going to go into the spinnery and uh, will somehow be turned into fabric. Like I said, I, I don't know if it's some kind of insulation or an insulation additive. For cotton but in this game it looks like we can just use it as a raw material a raw material which is an input and then we can output fabric but we'll just have to figure it out
we're all loaded. So let's deliver 108,000 litres to our own spinnery. I think if we delivered it to another spinnery it would just sell them. So hopefully... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Yes, good. I was thinking... Wait, does it need to be loose? But no, it's just taking a bit of time to process them. That's good. Try and get those into there as well. Of course, there might be a limit. Oh, I might just be out of the trigger here. <laughs> or maybe they're too high. That's another issue. It may well be too high. I think they are, actually. Yep. Because that's being taken, that's being taken. So we'll just have to pull them down. Pop them into there. That's all good. We probably will hit the limit pretty quickly, though. Oh, we already have done. Crikey. Alright, so we'll activate it. And, um, yeah, it takes five litres of flax straw to make three litres of fabric, so it should get through that pretty quickly, I would have thought. But that is just going to have to stay there, because there's not really much we can do about it. Um, yeah, so back to the combine. Wow, it's doing a good job. I can't believe it. It's still only 47% full, but that's fine. What I'll do is I'll start the engine on the truck, and we'll just move it to an area between two swaths, because what we don't want to do is get it in the way for the baler. We're going to bring the baler in next, which should still be in this field, yep. I'm going to try and cross the water course. It seems ridiculous. It probably is ridiculous, but I'm going to try it anyway. And you can laugh when I get stuck, because I probably will get stuck. Although if we do it sort of at an angle... Yeah, I don't particularly want to do too much on the headland, really, because if I, if I start dropping bales everywhere, then we're going to get the uh, combine stuck, just like we've got the baler stuck. Okay, crisis averted. There we go. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I'm, <laughs> I would do this. I think we're going to get back to the other area. No problem at all, because there's no bales actually here. It does take a while for them to start falling off the back. So I should be right, hopefully. I certainly hope so. I just literally saw the combine fall into the ditch. Ugh, wow. Yeah, you can see that happening in the time lapse. So I think probably the rest of the field will actually um, swath. I think we'll get a swather because it's a bit awkward. Well, actually, this corner here we can do. Although we'll chop this. It's just going to be too much of a hassle. But the rest of it, yeah, get a swather. It will cut it, it will drop it as a line of straw. And then we can get loads more flax straw. Now, I think we're going to have to get a second uh, spinnery. Probably even a third. If we're going to do flax straw on a large scale. We might even do cotton. So, yeah, I think the spinnery is going to be quite busy. 
But then I suppose it would be worth saying we should get a tailor shop as well. I just don't know. Because with the clothes we can make loads more money. There. So yeah, we'll um, put this one side for now. We'll finish the baling though. Everything that we have down on the ground, all that straw, we'll get done. And we'll put this into the trailer, even though there is only 18%, really not too much at all. Yeah, but at least we managed to get some flax. And what we'll probably do is keep that flax in the trailer until the price is right to sell. So we'll just move these to the middle. We don't want to be blocking the way for the baler. Yeah, I saw in all the screenshots for the map on ModHub that a swather is being used. It does seem to be the obvious choice. Because, um, yeah, it, it's, well, the shape of the fields, really. final stretch for now <laughs> uh, so yeah time is passing we will let uh, quite a bit of time pass actually so that the spinnery can get ahead it is about to rain so actually what we'll do is we'll put the time I need to add the extended time to, uh, zones or frames or whatever um, well wow, that's dark yeah we want to go faster than 360 ideally Okay. Right, so yeah, if we go on to F12, and then, yeah, where is this button? Ah, well, it was around. There it is. Probably the first one I was looking at. Extra time scales. Let's fly through the night. Oh good, it's rainy again. Well, well let's fly through the morning, and there we go. So hopefully quite a bit of the fabric has been processed. Um, of course, sorry, the straw has been processed to produce fabric. Uh, we should be able to see quite a bit stacking up outside, hopefully. If I hadn't spawned inside the trailer... Oh, good. <laughs> it's all going terribly wrong. Right, what have we got? We have got one pallet. So production time on that is pretty slow. Well, yeah, not the end of the world, but not ideal. So I'll leave this here. We're getting closer to the winter though, so we're gonna be able to sell the flax eventually. And yeah, we're gonna to have to think of a solution to making fabric faster, because that's really quite slow. I suppose getting cotton and wool would be the way to do it. Anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.